talking about is food inflation, sneaky inflation. We're not talking about uh, huge price increases. We're talking about manufacturers making the items smaller and also increasing the prices. So we're going to show you three items here. We're here with HP Viking and we're going to be going over some of these items. Why did you pick the solid white tuna first? As far as I can remember, a can of tuna has always been six ounces. Now with the increase in commodity prices, oh, what do you know? Most of the tuna retailers have dropped their can to five ounces. It's the same ounce can, but there's probably more squishing around in the can. There's five ounces, not six. Most people don't even look, won't know that they're only getting five ounces of tuna. See that? There's a lot more air in that bag of Doritos. This is a 99 cent bag. This is supposed to be a lot of Doritos. That's, that's full of air. You know, there used to be more Doritos in here. Now that's all you get for 99 cents. It probably cost them the corn in that. It's probably five cents. So if you look at these cartons, they look the same. But that one is a half a gallon, which is 64, 64 uh, fluid ounces, and that one's 59. So. But I do know Tropicana uh, cartons of uh, orange juice have always been 64 ounces. Look at that, 59 full ounces. That's five ounces. That's almost, that's about 9% off your price. You know, five ounces, eight But they're 8%. charging the same prices. So you can definitely feel this organic milk is heavier than this uh, orange juice. Um, I don't know if that's because it's milk, but listen to the difference inside. Definitely, there's less liquid in this uh, orange juice. And then, if we take a look at these, we shook these around, but it's it's actually a totally different size. You wouldn't notice it independently, but when you put them up together, you can see how they're making them smaller. It's amazing. The one Truly, on the left is six ounces. The one on the right is five. Yep, six ounces here, five ounces here. So with inflation, guys, price. The, the liquidity that the Federal Reserve is pumping into the economy, it's going to come into products not like you're expecting. You really have to look at it like an investigative reporter. So sometimes they're going to be making the items smaller, other times they're just going to be increasing the prices like we're seeing with gasoline, but that's all going to be reverber reverberating out through the economy. And I think the thing that I take from all this isn't that prices are increasing, the dollar is devalu uh, devaluing. So if you're making $2,500, the goal is for you to make two thousand dollars so all these price increases aren't price increases at all they're just the destruction of your income and your wealth g for t out peace